Hello, my name is Brayden Barry, and I decided to do my art find on one of my personal favorite paintings and one of my favorite artists as well, Beverly Kirk. Uh, this particular painting was made in 1956 and is a great example of her beautiful work. She's known for her creative but realistic oil paintings of beautiful landscapes and nature. Many believe that her paintings were a tribute to nature and her goal was to create a very realistic painting by blending beautiful, vibrant, and subtle colors while depicting the effects of light and shade on a landscape. Carrick had a way of making it feel as if you were there in the painting, which was very appealing to me, along with the fact that I just love nature. This painting is a great example of a very realistic painting. She uses contrast by making the sun the main vocal point by using more vibrant colors to make it pop out. She puts a lot of emphasis on the sunset as well because it lights the whole picture. She realistically depicts the effects of the sun and its rays on the rest of the landscape. She also depicts the effects of the mountains blocking the sun's rays, making those areas a much more darker area of the painting, using more subtle and darker colors to depict an area where the sun is not shining. This is a great example of contrast, using value to make some areas a more darker area, such as the shaded parts of the mountains, or by making the sun fade from a brighter yellow color to the less vibrant, less vibrant colors, such as orange and purple, to slow that, that, show that the sun is setting. It uses texture by making the stream feel like a very smooth flowing stream of water, whereas the mountains look like more of a rough surface, such, just like an actual mountain. It uses many different forms of color, primary and secondary colors, different uh, shades, lighter and darker, all to make a realistic painting of a sunset. Despite all that's going on in the picture, it is still very balanced. I think Carrick does this by making sure her colors are balanced across the canvas, as well as the objects. Notice the sunset takes up the top of the painting evenly, and the river flows through the middle and out into the lake, with trees and bushes on both sides, making it super balanced. Although I think that she put a lot of emphasis on the focal point, the sun. I still think that the way she arranged the painting is a great example of harmony because it is a very detailed picture with lots of different elements and things going on, but still an overall great landscape for a painting of a sunset. See, I see some repetition, such as the bushes and trees and the mountains. And I think this is a great example of pattern. The similar bushes and trees uh, kind of create a rhythm along with the pattern of the rolling mountains. This creates a very soft rhythm. It's almost like the painting just goes on forever and as if you could, uh, you were in the painting. Like you could just hop on a boat and take off into the sunset, which is why this very detailed and realistic paintings is one of my favorites.